In a world where fake news seems to be the norm rather than the exception, we've stumbled upon a battle royale for the crown of king of all fake news. Today, we're getting into the depths of media bias and the astonishing lengths some outlets go to to defend the indefensible. In today's video, we expose how NBC News has stooped to new lows with fake news about Biden's obvious dementia. We'll reveal their ridiculous excuses for old Joe and compare to their past hypocrisy about Donald Trump. Let's get into it. What's up, Patriots? It's me, Rich, coming at you with another doozy of a liberal media fake news story. Can you believe the nonsense NBC News is peddling to cover for Dementia Joe's crumbling mind? Guys, they have reached a new low in an attempt to brainwash the American people into thinking Biden is fit as a fiddle. But we know better, right? One look at old Joe and you can see the lights are on, but nobody's home if you catch my drift. But the lamestream media is desperate to prop up their potato in chief, so they've concocted these ridiculous excuses saying his forgetfulness is just normal aging. Give me a break. Since when is forgetting where you are and who your wife is just a senior moment? The man's clearly got more loose screws than Home Depot. Yet NBC News wants you to ignore the special counsel's report confirming Biden can barely remember his own name. They claim only doctors can diagnose dementia. Yeah, since when in the media? But you don't need a special medical degree to see Biden's deader than disco up there. Headline, as Biden's memory issue draws attention, neurologists weigh in. Oh, they finally weigh in. Forgetting the names of acquaintances or having difficulty remembering dates from the past doesn't affect decision making or judgment, brain experts say. Did they finally find brain experts that got their degree from a box of Cracker Jack? This is what the media does. They give examples of something that is normal for someone who's elderly while ignoring the fact that Joe is well down that dementia tunnel where he always confuses people, places, and things. He forgets where he is in the middle of a sentence. And whenever he enters a room, he looks like an old drunk looking for a bathroom. Leave it to the fake news overlords to muddy the waters. They just want to distract from the cold hard facts. Biden is unfit to lead, but he's their guy. And so they'll do anything to make his obvious mental decline seem like it's no big deal. Then we have the New York Times, whose best usage would be found at the bottom of a dirty birdcage. Headline, memory loss requires careful diagnosis, scientists say. A federal investigator said that President Biden had poor memory and diminished faculties. But such a diagnosis would require a close medical assessment, experts said. The special counsel's office did not diagnose old Joe with dementia. He simply wrote what he and his staff witnessed personally. We need a doctor for that? So everyone in the fake news media is bending over backwards literally to help dementia Joe. To try and soften the blow. To make it look like, ah, he's just old. He's fine. He can still have the nuclear codes. But they didn't go out of their way to cover for Trump when he was in the White House. Joe Scarborough, a.k.a. the kid with the banjo up on the bridge in the movie Deliverance, he came out and said that sources say Trump has early signs of dementia. We all know these sources are non-existent. He did this in 2018 during the Trump administration. Fake news people to be able to say something they can't prove will say sources are anonymous. Well, my source is anonymous. And my utter contempt for Joe Scarborough is not. But here's where NBC shows the size of their moose nuts. It was just a few weeks ago that the same NBC News made a deal about Trump saying Nikki Haley instead of Nancy Pelosi after he spent hours campaigning on the road. Headline, Trump confuses Nikki Haley with Nancy Pelosi when talking about January 6th. What Trump did was actually what a lot of people do do from time to time. What they tried to pass off was happening to Joe. Trump was talking about Nikki Haley, and then he diverted into a January 6th story where he was pointing out that Nancy Pelosi refused the National Guard, which to this day, the same fake news rags say never happened, but there's evidence that he did. Ironically, I didn't see NBC News saying that forgetting the names of acquaintances affects decision making or judgment, brain experts say, when it comes to Trump. These people are garbage. Put out the garbage and call it news. It's a complete double standard from how they fear-mongered over Trump's alleged dementia. The difference is that Donald Trump could spend two hours giving a speech and not screw up once. The man is sharp as a tack. A president needs his wits about him. And Biden is clearly coming unglued. 
Have you heard him trying to string a sentence together recently? It's downright painful. Folks, you can put lipstick on a pig, but at the end of the day, it's still Dementia Joe. Biden's dementia isn't going away no matter how hard NBC spins. He's not going to get better. There is no medicine. There is no surgery that will fix him. It's a sign of aging, and he has it bad. All we can do is laugh at the fake news's pathetic attempts to hide the obvious truth. Biden is unfit, and that's the bottom line. The truth will prevail as long as patriots like us keep up the good fight. All right, guys, smash that like button if you think NBC has hit rock bottom with this baloney. And subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Please share our videos with like-minded friends who want to stay informed with what's really going on. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Lately I've been going through some hard stuff. Getting knocked down, getting right back up on the mistake I made was thinking you would have my back, but it's one way track. That's right, you know I've had enough. Your bad behavior isn't what I'm worth. No, that's right. No, I've had enough.